Today we are going to be finding the equation of a tangent. We know from National 5 that a tangent is a straight line. To find the equation of any straight line, you must know its gradient and a point on it. To find the gradient of a tangent, we need to find the gradient of a point on the curve, and we do this using differentiation. The gradient of a tangent to a curve y equals fx at x equals a is given by f dashed away. This is the same as finding the rate of change of f at a. Example 1. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals x cubed minus 2x at the point x equals 1. To do this, we split our page in two. On the left hand side, we will work on our derivative dy by dx, and on the right hand side, we'll work on our curves equation y equals x cubed minus 2x. Starting with our derivative, differentiating y, we get 3x squared minus 2. And to find the gradient, we need to insert x equals 1 into our derivative. To get 3 times 1 squared minus 2, 3 take away 2, the answer is 1. So at x equal to 1, our gradient is 1. Now that we have a gradient um, of the point on the curve, we now need to find our y coordinate when x is 1. To do this, we sub 1 into our curves equation. So 1 cubed minus 2 times 1. 1 minus 2 will give an answer of y equals negative 1. We now have a point, 1 minus 1, and a gradient of 1. To find the tangent's equation, we then use y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. Substituting our point and gradient in, y plus 1 equals 1 bracket x minus 1. Removing the brackets on the right hand side will give us x minus 1. And this will rearrange to give an answer of x minus y equals 2 is the equation of the tangent. Example 2. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9 at the point x equals 1. We're going to split our page into two. Left hand side our derivative and right hand side will be our curves equation. Starting by differentiating dy by dx equals 3x squared plus 4x. When x equals 1, our derivative is 3 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1. 3 plus 4 gives an answer of 7. So when x equals 1, our gradient at that point on the curve is 7. We now need to find a y coordinate. So we put x equal to 1 into our curve's original equation. 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared minus 9. 1 plus 2, take away 9, will give us an answer of minus 6. We now have a coordinate point on our tangent, 1 minus 6, and we know our gradient is 7. This will now be inserted into y minus b equals m bracket x minus a to give y plus 6 equals 7 bracket x minus 1. If we expand our right hand side, we get 7x minus 7, and this will rearrange to give the equation of the tangent as 7x minus y equals 8. Now try these examples on your own. Please pause the video. The answers for a, the equation of the tangent is 4x minus y equals 7, and b, the equation of the tangent is x minus y equals negative 2. Now please self-assess your progress. For extra work, turn to page 101, exercise 6j and try questions 1 and 2. So what have we learned today? Today we've found out how to find the equation of a tangent. The key steps are differentiating to find the gradient of the tangent, substituting the x coordinate into the curves equation to find y, and then using y minus b equals m bracket x minus a.